Hello. Welcome the new, edgiest character to Smash. We had Cloud, but this one's even edgier. Uh, just me today. For now. We're actually going to have a guest, Wickersham, joining us in a few minutes. I'm going to be hosting an online arena. It's the usual when a Smash character comes out. Try out Steve for the first time. I have not tried him yet. I have stayed a good... I have stayed pure. And, uh... I saw the announcement trailers and everything. Have not watched any footage yet. So, he's still gonna be fresh to me. I'm gonna start off doing a, uh, doing just a, a, a bot match or two. Just to try to get a feel for him. And then I'll, uh, open arena, have, uh, Nick come on. And we'll just have an open arena for a few hours. Is the plan today. There he is. There's our boy. Who's apparently, I learned, based off of a Grand Theft Auto character. I didn't know that. Blew my mind. Got no music. Got, I, I did buy some DLC. I did buy some me outfits. I probably didn't need the pig. But I just, it, it felt incomplete without it. I got Bomberman. Who is for some reason a brawler. I don't quite understand that, because my Bomberman has always been a gunner, you know, the character with explosives, but I'll have to make do. Come on, controller. I actually just, I it just booted that profile just so I could see the splash screens, because I had already done it on, on mine. Up. I'll do the usual, uh, usual posting around. No, I don't care about cat spirits. Okay, let me try a bot match for anything. I also need to make sure that, uh, make sure the, the new stage is in my rule set. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, uh... Edit. Friendlies. Stage hazards. Where's stage hazards? Oh, that's right, they're hidden. I'm gonna try out the new stage before anything else, because it's good. we're only gonna be playing a Hazards Off variant in the arena. The tracks are there. Howland. I am a bit disappointed they didn't at least try to, like, tweak one of the regular in-game tracks. Like, I could hear uh, maybe a drum and bass version of Sweden, right? They could do that. Alright, uh, we got Steve, we got Alex, we got the alternate Steves. It's, I, I have watched too much Achievement Hunter to not associate those two skins with them. It's, it's Ryan, the kilt guy. None? Okay. Well, fuck it, I'll be a zombie. Now, you know what? No, I'll, I'll stick with Classic Steve. I'll stick with Grand Theft Auto Steve. Alright, so again... Oh, I shouldn't have done... I shouldn't have done the, uh... I shouldn't have done the level 9 CPU. This was a bad idea. Okay, so neutral. I, I love this. I, lo I love that he can just walk with the sword like Mega Man. A lot of... A lot of busted ways people have found to use the, uh, the dare. Okay, you know what? No, this isn't gonna work. I'm sorry, I need to change the CPU level. I need time to test shit, Olimar. There's his awkward hand clapping. Alright, 
let's try that again. And uh, there are actually uh, there are commands you can use to choose which version you get of uh, of the Minecraft stage. I don't know them offhand. I don't have them ready, but uh, I know they exist. Alright, well this is appropriate. Alright, can I mine trees? I can mine trees. I can destroy them, that's right. Ow. Okay, that's it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like this. The the default stage having shit all over it. I get it's Minecraft. It just seems like a nuisance to start the, the match with. Alright, we got Oh, my sword broke. That's right, you press B at the table and it crafts. This is weird. Oh, what is this purple? That's my build limit. There's this up smash that has no horizontal range. Juggle up tilt. Forward tilt. Oh, that's that's the that's the pickaxe. Is the forward tilt or the dash attack? No, it's the dash attack. So what's forward tilt? Is it also just the sword? The dare people have already found ways to break. Very strange grab. The fence is weird. The fishing rod makes sense. The fence is weird. Someone has told me that uh, that detail is like minus four on shield. It is ridiculously safe. The fire. I want to spike him. I want to spike him bad. Why did? Why didn't I build? Oh, that recovery is going to take some getting used to. The fact that he has none without blocks. I remember some people were worried that the uh, the mining rate seemed crazy fast and that he'd be super broken, OP, best character. And it was totally a fact that he was going to just break the game. Top one edge guarding. No one would be able to do anything. I did it again. I pressed up B off stage out of habit. This is this is a high learning curve character. I did it. I did it this time. See, I built. I want to spike. Ah! Let me spike you. No! Well, hmm. How many practice with Steve? That's how this is going to have to go. I'm gonna try one more match. Now that I'm not, I was also slightly distracted by posting links in the in the Discord servers, which I am no longer. So I'm gonna try that one more time. I think it's like L plus R plus A, L plus down plus A, things like that. You nice to get the snow one once. Come on, load the JPEG, you can do it. Alright, one more time with my full ass into it. Oh, that's their, that's their entrance, they mine in. Ooh, that downed smash. That's right, that's right I didn't test, the other smashes. Why, uh, we know what the up smash is. It lasts forever, but it's apparently very powerful. Uh, I also know that apparently... Someone has found a... They've already found, like, a stupid crazy number of, uh, combos. With, uh, Steve and Alex. Because of all the unique mechanisms they have. 
Sorry, that, that sounded snarky. It wasn't meant to be snarky. Let me spike you. I also keep, uh, I keep doing the neutral air. Or the for or forward tilt. I want to do the forward air to smash. And I'm not getting it. Or to spike, rather. Well, hmm. Still powerful. I didn't get the spike, though. I really need to get used to building all the time. Okay, I have gold now. It's powerful, but uh, not... but fragile. As opposed to... I, I thought gold was actually the most powerful in the original game. It is not. It's just the fastest attacking weapon. Which is actually a little odd, because the gold... I think the gold does mine the best. No. Oh! Now, I wonder if I can do the... Let me try to do the, the dare thing. Oh, that's right. That uses an iron, too. There it goes! I got the spike! Oh, I haven't tried any of the... Oh, no! I'm fine. I'm alive. Get out of here. Go, go away, Ridley. Okay, whatever. Hello. Hello, Zelrog. Welcome Zel to the stream. Rog. And I welcome more to like, your stream. More like Zelpog. I do have a Zelpog. Someone drew a Zelpog. So, oh, uh... great. Steve is weird. He is? He's so weird. He's big, got a high learning curve. Very high. I, I thought I'd kind of click, maybe, with the sword swinging thing, but it's... No, I'm getting my ass beat. I also tried the uh, tried the Minecraft world. It's neat, I guess. Um, add add Minecraft yeah, world to your stage list. Yeah, okay, because it's it's an FD clone hazard list, so I'm keeping it. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll we'll play it uh, hazardless. The hazard version is fine. It's just weird having all that stuff to destroy before you really are free to do the yeah. match. And you you get all those unique stage layouts because you have uh, one platform or two platforms, and it's really non intrusive. Yeah. So how are things in Animal Crossing, Berg? Uh, going well. Halloween's coming. I transformed one of my rooms into an arcade. And Wolfgang ruined the band. Ruined the band? What did he do? He ruined... He, he said hi to one of my villagers while we were rocking out, and oh. that makes them stop singing. I saw I saw some villagers singing. I never got to see it in uh, in mine. I've been listening a lot to the Wrath of Cortex's music, which is actually pretty good. Oh yeah? Any standouts? Yeah. Uh, The Gauntlet, Nighttime, Arctic Antics, I mean almost all the songs are really good actually. I actually liked Wrath of Cortex more than Crash 3. That's Spicy interesting, because I, 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 just, I just look at it and I'm like, that's a lot of extra stuff that really isn't that great. Like... Well there's a lot tiptoeing tip -toeing on nitro crates yeah that was not great both games have room, a lot of gimmick levels room up in them. Yet. Uh, I'm, I'm typing in the name uh, now with my lack of keyboard uh both games had a lot of gimmicks I thought wrath of cortexes were less intrusive though 
And usually I mean, the gimmick levels. It, it, when, it when it comes to Wrath of Cortex, like, I think it's over 70% are not platforming levels. That's as many or more in Crash 3. And even the ones that aren't platforming levels often change to platforming halfway in Wrath of Cortex. The monkey bars suck. Okay. Bye, fire. Arena you, you ID. Move. 3 and H3D. So I'll update my bot as well for that. 3 and H3D. There I we see go. You and I see Mozilla, Firefox. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid to try Steve in an arena. I mean, I imagine lots of other people are, because he just came out. Yeah. I'll I'm give, not I'll going to. I'll, I'll give him one round. Yeah. Oh, no, oh it's almost here. full. It's almost full already. Oh, Saucy's here. Is that our Saucy? Yeah. Yes. Hey, Saucy. I posted the uh, link to my stream around some of the discords, so... Uh, probably gonna have a pretty full lobby today. Apparently, uh, GSP jumped up. A bunch of people started playing online when Steve came out, which is to be expected. I see. Someone from Brawler Cord. Probably. People self destructing with El Elytra. Elytra? Yeah, I see that a lot. I don't know if it's. I don't know if you can actually be reverse it because sometimes I swear you can, but other times it just doesn't seem like it. It stalls out really eas easily vertically. And it's just getting into the habit of using blocks to recover. I find on most stages, blocks are unreliable because of how close you need to be to the stage to use them. Oh yeah, there's a very limited build space. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, and I was worried about Steve basically not being able to die. But, nah. Well, if this were really not like Minecraft, he couldn't build in the air at all. Then he'd be a garbage That's character. That's true. Not bad for a start with a three stock. But Whipper's next, so. I'm genuinely triggered. Steve is in Smash before Waluigi. Yeah. Wham. Uh, um, well, okay. Complain. <laughs> Perish. <laughs> I mean, I want Waluigi too, but I think Steve's pretty cool. Steve definitely I mean, deserves on, like... it more. Like, look at Steve. Look at what Steve brings to the table versus what Waluigi would. Come on, just like look at the two move set potentials. Three, Waluigi two, could be like the Deadpool. One, he could beat go. people with his, his percentage bar because he's a cheater. Oh no, <laughs> Wick! Nick! Oh no, I'm sorry. That's Whipper. 
Yeah. Is this his first time playing, Steve? I would not be surprised. How, I forget how, is it like up shield B to summon the, the thing? Is he gonna, uh, oh, he stalled out. No, he made it. It's just, it's just shield B. Okay, so it's the same like the inkling command. Yeah. Have you seen the uh, the instant shield break they found for yes. Steve? Yes. Gimzy, I think that's how you pronounce it, did it. People have claimed zero to deaths. There's a lot of stuff that's been labbed in like two or three days. He's got a lot of unique mechanics. Oh, bye, Banjo. Nope. You can mash out of it. Yeah. Uh, so... I wonder if, uh, I haven't looked to confirm what materials each of the stages are in the final release. Uh, what do you mean? Well, because there's the basic collection oh, they order. All the, they're all, they're all the same, I mean, they're all the same in, in the Minecraft world? Or do you mean, No, like... I mean the stages themselves, the stuff that you get out of the ground. Because Lilit, for example, is an iron oh. stage. I and mean, I don't you know could if probably guess... Is... We thought about the, that, and someone before the release figured out the materials of each stage based on, like, the the sound effects they were set to make. Uh huh. We just didn't know if that would necessarily coincide with Steve's materials. I'm actually curious how he does on iron stages, because iron is a great material for him, but he mines at half the speed. Mm -hmm. He already mines kind of slow, given how much he needs stuff. I guess he's kind of like a snowball -y character in that way, if he keeps his equipment from stock to stock. You still don't have a controller, Muffin? What are you talking about? Yeah, you almost got me, I will say. That's the most annoying thing about Steve, though, is he's got insane pressure. Yeah. His, his combo is just, I'm gonna hold A and move. <laughs> so, Whipper, was that the first time that you played Steve? It didn't look like it. He looks like he kind of knew what he was doing. Vita. <laughs> Not the first time, but I don't plan on maining him either. I didn't, I can't, I don't imagine that this is the first time. Wait, is he watching both stream? is he watching both streams at once? Uh, he said that in my chat. I, I just opened both chats, so I'm looking at him. Yeah. Like, the dedication it's gonna take to main Steve in this game. Yeah. I'm, I was hoping that the... The new outfits would bring some more people to the Mii's, but we haven't really seen an yeah. influx in the Mii cords. I mean, I don't, I don't imagine Mii will ever really be as popular. No, but there was a, there were big influxes in Gunner Cord for Sans and Cuphead. A lot of people suddenly uh, because, joined. I mean, when you, when you can meme, then it's one thing. But, but Creeper and Pig, Nick. 
I, I, look, the time for Creeper and Pig to be memes is over. I'm sorry. Fortnite Jonesy for Smash. It's what we need. If they made Jonesy into a me costume. We need Jonesy and we need Freddy Fazbear for the, the brawler. People buy it. I've got Joy-Cons that are sentient and that's about it. Yeah, Joy-Cons. My Joy-Cons, including the ones that I got back after sending mine in for Drift, now also have Drift. And both of I them. mean, they, they didn't say the new ones wouldn't have Drift. No, they didn't. <laughs> and both of the pro, con pro controllers I've gotten out of the box have had flick back. So I have a, I have a zero for four with Nintendo Switch controllers. My pro controller I got like 20, 2017 and it's been working for me ever since. I've never had an issue with it. Another I my Joy Cons still work just fine, but that's because I never use them except to play Ring Fit, and you don't need to use the the sticks. I I would have bought Ring Fit if I had working Joy Cons. Unfortunately, I don't. Another brawlers, there a revolution of brawlers going on or something? No, I, I just posted the stream in Brawler Cord, and I guess they like me more than Ganon Cord or Bowser Cord. Are your lobby rules the same as Nick's? Yes, this is functionally a, a Nick lobby. I'm just hosting to help out his bandwidth, in part. Oh, did he just? <laughs> oh no, Navita! He flip jumped the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do the rotation. Woomer? What's a woomer? Whammy? Is that a... Is that an inkling? That's the that's the generation that hasn't been born yet. The, the woomers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready to die. Ready? Coomer but squid. What? Well, what's a coomer? You know what a coomer is. Like raccoon from Dragon Ball? I can't explain what a coomer is on this stream. I know what a cougar is. Uh, it's a it's a cat. Yeah. Um, I'm in the corner. Is, is that it, you in the spotlight? Is it gonna go? Uh oh. By the way, I've had connection issues. Over the past, I don't know, month. So if it does happen to drop, just go host an arena. All right. Well, hold up. We'll see. I, I don't think this is the time. Well, we'll have to see what happens because, okay, we've loaded in. Is the arena gone? It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, I still have internet connectivity, so I can make another one. I'm, I'm hosting. Okay. I'm hosting. FN832. Alright. I'm gonna play DK. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hurt ourselves. Steve offline. I'm good. <laughs> I don't need to do that again. Let's bring out some fun characters. I haven't actually played Steve yet, just not against anyone. Hmm. -mm. Oh. Is that everybody? Ready? What is the new arena code? Uh, it's FN832. FN832. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. Saucy recently got her own, uh, got her own switch. Yep. Bring out Dong, though. I I was gonna do it anyway. I don't know if Benja would have been better or wor worse. I'm trying to style. There we go. Eh, that I'll take it. Because it's Min Min. <laughs> Paul, Paul, Min Min. <laughs> G yeah, that definitely was a GG. But it, it, I mean, it was kind of a GG. If you don't care about the G's actually being G. That was a minute and a half. So this is a thing that people are making. Is it Sans with the, um, Sans head with the creeper? Yep. I call him creepier. Except now there are too many, there are too many me costumes. And not enough yeah. actual builds to use, so I've had to get creative. I've actually got rid of a couple me's. This is my first exploding sidekick, me. It's not recommended, but I'll, I'll give it a try. We both survived that. That shouldn't uh -huh. happen. was a mistake. So, uh, it's the best version of the Falcon Punches. It's still not recommended because it is a Falcon Punch, but it's got cool stuff like armor and safe on shield. Mm -hmm. are, are you mad? Me? No.
Nothing more than usual meat suplex shenanigans, really. This thing is truly cursed. It it works so weirdly well. Time is it, muffins? Ow! Ow! Oh, that didn't kill. You want Yoshi? We haven't had big Yoshi on the stream in months. Where is he? And kick to the head. He's missing. We'll have to get Luigi to find him. I put the song in the queue because nobody else is putting songs in the queue. Super enough. It's exclamation point SR, Danny. But it's okay. I'll put in the song you want anyway. I've got you. Song you want, Danny. I've got it. Play Danny's song. I'm doing it. Hold up. You, you'll see after the end of this one. After Megalovania and the banjo sound font. No! Wrong way. <laughs> Wrong direction. Oh great, I don't get to see it. Oh, that happens disconnect. all the time. Dude. Yeah. Get out of here. Why did I do that? Get out of here! Ryu, please! Oh, 134. I got this. We're good. Just got a cheese one. Soaring axe kick and nothing else. Sounds about right. No! Making up the difference. You and me, Ryu. I just realized how similar Gladian's theme sounds to Beads. Beads? Bead from 8. Oh, Gen yeah. Eight. Stop! No! Shuriken! Okay, he got- he wins. Shuriken. Threw a ninja star at me and it died. Muffins, what are you implying? I, I want to know where you're going with this, because I don't think you can salvage this. Seven. Seven's played on the stream before. I recognize them. Oh, that's Congus. Yeah, that's Congus.
I actually can't hear my audio. Is my arena music still Pokemon? I don't know. I have the game's audio turned off. I, I always forget. I keep forgetting to change it after I hosted the, the crew battle. Fucking Gruntilda band, though. Yeah. How come we couldn't get an Eggman Sonic? Because Sega wants Sonic to only be blue. And it was back in Brawl before they really putting before they really liked putting tons of references in a character's move set. Yeah, but they could they could replace like uh, they could replace skins. Sega still wants him to be blue. And uh, the case with Pac Nam too, Namco, right? yeah, Namco only Namco was even worse because. That Sega's like, Sonic can be these colors of blue, Namco's like, Pac-Man can only be yellow, so you gotta change just his hands and shoes. You know how much easier for readability it would be if you could change Pac-Man's body color? Yeah. That basically means the only good Pac-Man alt is the, is the plaid one. Scottish. The oven mitts. Eggman Sonic. What? Well, if if like uh, if Banjo gets a Gruntilda, yeah, you'd have like uh, like a red Sonic with I don't know goggles or something. Yeah, why don't we get uh, Bowser Peach while we're at it? Well, Bowser's already in the game. Yeah, but we could get a Peachette. Yeah. 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 Skin tone Sonic. I think you mean shaved Sonic. Uh, yes. Yes, I did, Danny. I put both in. Do you think they will forever... They will forever be sharing Malasada. Do you think pe more people would react negatively if the final DLC was Waluigi or Bubsy? Waluigi. You think more people would be unhappy with that? Yeah. Because I, th I think people would be find Bubsy hilarious, and I don't think Waluigi's that funny. Yeah? Yeah. I don't get to see how this one ends again. Also, Whipper also seems to be having problems. With disconnecting? Yeah. Well, so far, Kongus is in the lead. Is it, uh, 100% versus Omni's final stock, 20%. Hmm. Oh, this is what his theme sounds like? I never bothered to listen to it. How's are Gladions? How? Gladion's re theme is in Smash as a remix. Oh, no! Kongus missed the ledge. Did we see a turnaround? Uh, no, he's still got a 120% lead. Oh. I also keep misreading Kongus' new name as 7-Eleven. It makes me want a slushy. A uh, Slurpee. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've never been huge for 7-Eleven. Nothing says date night like a 7-Eleven cheese pizza. I didn't I didn't even know they did pizza. That's, those are those are their ads they have on now. Oh, Omni just fails to make it back again. What a piddly way for that to end. Alright. 
Whipper versus Congus. Well, don't mind me. I am going to go make a coffee. All right. I don't know, um, considering that Banjo's recovery has no hitbox, it might be easier than you think to, uh, it might be easier than you think to gimp him. Okay, so cart doesn't count as a oh my gosh, that's the second time that's happened. Okay. I left for a couple minutes and there were two zombies now and Banjo's dead. Uh, Banjo died, then we had two zombies except the second guy didn't accept the fight. So now it's zombie versus Alex. Yes. Or except not. no. <laughs> Saucy, go get him! <laughs> Somebody do something. I guess if they're still not here after a match, if they're not back in line, we get rid of them. Three, two, one, go! I know Muffin was waiting for a spot. Are you flipping kidding me? Did you get kicked again? Immediately. Oh. Well, uh, update. The zombie is building things. He is good, mining good, and good, crafting. Good. Min Min is struggling to get back to stage. <laughs> big news. A uh, big surprise. Oh, he can grab. You can grab someone when they're stuck in the minecart. Yeah. Uh, Steve just, also has super armor in the minecart. He's just dropping minecarts. Whipper, why you got a style? I also, I didn't even use the TNT. I completely forgot it existed. Uh, it's a great edge guarding tool. 
Not much else. I don't know. It's 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 a mix up. It's stuff that's like you have to like predict them to do it because it's really easy to just avoid the TNT. Let's see how bad it is with DK. Well, Guacamole came back. Were you the one who told the story about the lady who, like, went to a subway and was asking for the guacamole without avocados in it? No. That was something that happened. She was getting really, really, like, mad at the employee, and she showed him a picture on her phone. It, it was Pico de Gallo. I'll get it eventually. That's okay, he deserved that. Oh, the lava! character insofar as like uh, they were saying things like oh look how tired Sakurai is in the video look how much work you put him through this is your fault for wanting Steve in, my in Smash Brothers yeah except at the end of the day Nintendo was the one who was like it's like if they made it, it, it's like if Smash 64 was like the fourth game in the series or something, and then they were like, well, Pokemon's like the biggest thing ever. And then people were get would be getting upset at him for doing that. It's, you know, it's not because people necessarily wanted him. It's, I mean, I'm sure that played a part, but like, come on, it's Minecraft. Imagine Pokemon were first introduced to the to Smash series in Smash Ultimate. And they tried to be really faithful to the RPG roots. Alright, let's see how I do. I don't want to shield against him because then he could just do the anvil thing, yeah. which is really easy. Takum does not appear to be here. Uh, all right, hold up. Are you still there, Muff? Oh, spot's open. Why did so uh, saucy? Why are you adding metal versions of Barbie Girl? It's Boomer Man. So I can't have a I can't have a Bomberman body on Gummer on Gunner. Oh yeah, that's annoying. So I just I did this instead. No. Got 
that out. No. Why am I rolling away from it? That was a bad idea. No. Explosives. Creepers hate those. I mean, zombies. Come to think of it, I could have just as easily made a, uh... A creeper gunner. Yeah. I am slightly annoyed that the Bomberman outfit didn't go to the me with explosives. But it would be kind of weird to see Bomberman firing things, I guess, because he's never, like, used a gun, really. Not, not as weird as seeing him punch things instead of using explosives, though. In my hasn't opinion. He in, hasn't he been in fighting games before? That one Konami fighter? Uh, hasn't he been in shooters before? We should get that super realistic Bomberman, you know, when they tried to... What was that game called? Bomberman, Bomberman Zero. Zero. Uh, no. I think, no, R was the most recent one on Switch. That had, like, the Puyo Puyo art style. I just, I blew myself up with the minecart. The minecart carried my bomb to me. I guess the name of the game when it comes to Steve is Spacing. What a coincidence. Gunner's good at that. I don't know what the deal... I don't know what to expect Steve to do, though, because, you know, he's new, and I don't know what the game plan is for Steve. Oh, get that out of here. I'm not gonna step on that. Good Getting effort. Oh, I got what, my... Is this directed by Wes Anderson? Maguma. Apparently, these words mean different things in English. I didn't know that they were the same word in Japan. Not sure why I would know that. I mean, people use them almost interchangeably in English, for the most part. I mean, if you're, uh, I mean, if you actually care, they are different things. Yes. But most people don't. Yes, use all your wood. It's valuable, except not really. I thought for sure this would be an iron stage, like the Pokemon stadiums, but I guess they're not. No, because it's grass. It is? I mean, it's the normal one. It's like green, right? Yeah, it's just like painted that. I figured. Yeah. You think it's grass? Is it, is it one or two? <laughs> Good job, zombie. Ultimate doubles team, Rob Zombie. That's not quite death. Well, yeah, these minecarts are annoying. I wonder where I would even find a list of all the materials anyway. Of the stages or the stuff Steve can mine? <laughs> The stages. Well, there's the basic set that is like the Final Destination Battlefield. Yeah, which is in a set order. Yeah. Well, they're all in set order, so it's just coming from which order it draws from. And iron mining half as fast. Diamond has the biggest power increase. Wood and gold do the same damage. Stone does well. We know one point one times. Iron does one point two times, and diamond does one point three five. But gold attacks faster. Not in Minecraft, but not in this game. Unless they no, it, I'm that. reading it on. I'm reading it on the wiki. Okay, they must have changed that since the reveal presentation. No, they said that gold is weaker than iron and stone, but it attacks faster. Yeah, Sakurai is a gamer. Keep scrolling. Three, two, 
This, okay, I find Steve versus Steve matchups to be kind of annoying because it just resolves in either you attack immediately and lose on the chance to get materials, or you got materials first, and now you have the upper hand. Gentlemen's. Well, they can both just stand around getting materials for five minutes first. That's also what I see happen a lot. But we know all the all the stage materials from the Minecraft stage. Yeah, well, yeah, that one's dependent on where you're standing. Unfortunately, hazardless mode uh, doesn't remove doesn't change uh, what materials you get from stages like they like it does in FD or, or Omega in Battlefield versions. Yeah. So stage choice is still very very important for Steve. Right, and that's why I was curious about because there's the wood, there's the dirt. There's stone and there's iron. Good wood, stone, iron, redstone, gold, and diamonds. Although redstone doesn't show up on the meter. I'm talking about the surfaces that he can mine. Like those oh, are the yeah. four types. Yeah. Uh, we know which ones are which in stage builder. Most, most things are dirt. And I imagine that most things are dirt in stages as well. Well, if this is just the way to play Steve, this is gonna get real annoying. Just minecarts all the time. It's a projectile command grab. Yeah. Okay, so somebody put in the Beastars of theme. Is it, is it in French? Beastars is an anime, right? It's yeah, Japanese. but I'm wondering the theme's in French or not, because it sounds like French. But I'm also hearing English. Hello, Woko. Loco Woko. It's a nasty meat player. Like, one of the best. Hmm. The Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. Barely opening. hear the music. I'll turn it up. The standalone complex opening was in like five languages. The opening looks like it was directed by Wes Anderson. I, I, I don't know what that means. Who's Wes uh, Anderson? Fantastic, fantastic Mr. Fox. Uh, Isle of Dogs. Kubo. Okay. Who did this? I can't play this. I can't play this, Muffins. That's definitely gonna get me in trouble. What, what, what did he put? Shoddy, like a melody. Brain. <laughs> Whipper is dominant. Who did Whipper start with? I have no idea. Was it, was it me? It was me. I think. Why is Steve's goatee extra dark on the victory screen? I just caught that. Uh, well, because he actually has a, a I mean, like, extra dark? I don't know. It's just weird, weird lighting. It's weird that, um, it's weird that he, they keep putting the goatee on him when he hasn't had it in, when he hasn't had it in game since beta. That's a mouth? No, it is not a mouth. No, it's not a mouth. Because if you look at the current, if you look at the current uh, Steve skin in, in Minecraft, he's missing the goatee, and you can see the mouth. I never quite understood how anyone saw that. It, it looked like a Roblox face with a mouth that big. A lot of people saw it as a big dopey smile, and Alex didn't exist for a long time, so they didn't put it together that that was a. Did you see the uh, the thing where he was apparently based off a Grand Theft Auto character? I can believe that. I'd also believe he was a placeholder. Uh, he was originally a placeholder based off of uh, a character from when Notch was planning to make it a GTA fan game. Oh... Let me see if I can find that tweet. There it is. Now 
the Yemen to you. If I recall correctly, somebody putting in Barbie, the song, and if I recall correctly, this song's actually about something quite serious, but now they actually use it in the Barbie commercials. What, Barbie Girl? Yeah. That is especially strange, because I had heard that the company sued Aqua when it first came out with the song. I know that they actually use the song in the commercials now. Huh. But if I recall the songs about, like, materialism... It was meant to be, like, commentary about what a, you know, a, a sex symbol Barbie always had been. Yeah. Screw you and screw your crafting table. It's amazing how many things get blocked by crafting table. Uh, green missile gets blocked by crafting table. So if you time it right, you might be able to just straight up block Luigi, because you can summon the crafting table anywhere. What or at if you time it right. What a weird extra utility. Or like, what are, well, what yeah, are some characters it's... who can't cancel out of their side Bs? Ike can't, can he? Yeah, but some some people can pass through it, some can't. Oh. Right? I know Luigi, uh, Luigi's Green Missile Camp, which was the one the guy brought up in the post specifically. What about Rollout? Uh, probably. I would guess it has to do about whether it has an active hitbox or not. Yeah. I mean, uh, Wonder Wing takes a second to go through it, which is kind of annoying, because then they get an extra, more time to see it. Yeah, Barbie Girl was a big song back in the day, Saucy. Back in my day, when we listened to good pop music. We haven't seen the meat screen yet. No, we haven't. It's always the house. Hello, hello, calamity. Well, I got the one where she, where they just fall. There's one where they just fall. Yeah. Ready? Saucy versus goo whack a mole. Guacamole. It's sauce versus sauce. Yeah. Are you gonna play Steve Calamity? Time for me to learn a new character. Oh, you better get learning because there's a lot oh, to we learn. Finally got, we finally got Minecraft World. I knew they were gonna call it something like Minecraft World, to be honest. I don't know what else you would call it. Overworld? That's still the pretty seed. generic. Hello, villager. I'm a little... I'm. A little surprised we didn't get a villager costume. I thought yeah. they I thought they were a little more uh, a little more iconic than pigs. Um, I don't know. Pigs were in the game before villagers. Yeah, I know that, but villagers kind of took off. You know, they got the villager news, YouTube videos, all that. I guess Steve is technically our first indie character. Mm -hmm. First indie rep. Although we just although got to him after anymore. Microsoft bought him. <laughs> we just got to him way past the party was indie. You know, that's all you have to they, do to become an indie rep in Smash Brothers. Become the single greatest selling, number two best selling game in the world. That's all. Of all time, yeah. After Tetris, we got indie other stuff like you know Sans, but not we a got, full character. Yeah, yeah. Sans, Shovel Knight, Shantae. I hope Hornet will never be in Smash. <laughs> Maybe if I say that, it'll be true. <laughs> People have hope for Monster Hunter in the DLC yeah. yet. The little known indie game Monster Hunter. I heard it was getting a movie. I heard that too. 
which is bizarre to me, because, I mean, it's, a, people know about it, but not non-gamer people. If the mm -hmm. Ratchet movie flopped, I don't know how they expect Monster Hunter to do. I mean, Dragon Quest got a movie. There's the meat screen. Did it, uh, an American movie or a Japanese movie, though? Japanese. Well, there Is you Monster go. Monster Hunter American? I think so. That's a big difference, though. Because the Japanese make lots of live-action movies for ex specifically Japanese okay. audiences. Hello? Hello? It's just minecarts, minecarts, minecarts. That's the tripping animation? He just they sits. just sit down? <laughs> Someone's got to play Jigglypuff so we can put him to bed. Oh, shoot. So when, when was he released? It's been two or three days now. Uh, Wednesday, right? I think so. I like that they did keep the the model and animations accurate. I was kind of worried when, like, the, the base ult came out and people were talking about Steve, that they would use, like, the Minecraft story mode kind of models. Yeah. Ooh, out of iron? Out of iron? <laughs> no one has used the Enderman palette swap yet. I mean, the Dragon Quest movie wasn't good, sadly. Huh. Oh, that's right, I remember seeing footage of the Dragon Quest uh, movie. Uh, type exclamation ID for the arena. We might be full, though. You might need to wait for a spot. Oh. Wait, what? Why didn't they take any damage? I hit it. They didn't take any at all? It took, like, no damage. They were right next to it. So where are you, where are you from, Toltal? I assume you're from one of the, uh, one of the character cords? That pickaxe hitbox is kind of specific. I've only, we've only seen a couple spikes so far. Yes, it is very specific. You could say it's... Is that just what you're going to do every time I try to approach? Just use minecart? You could say the hitbox is picky. Is that just what they're gonna do every time you approach? Just use minecart now? Cause that's what I see everybody doing. Yeah. Let me just use minecart. When in doubt, minecart. The character had the potential to have so much interesting stuff, but if it just does turn out to be that's the one move that is central to the character. <sighs> oh, hey, buff. Roy versus Alex. Can K. Rule reflect it? I, if, it's, if it's a projectile, I imagine it can be reflected. I'm sure it can be caped by, like, Mario or Swordfighter, at least. Hmm. 
Oh, that's the D throw. That's right. I forget that's also the anvil. Uh, little bro, the the codes just uh, exclamation point ID, and I think we're full at the moment. I wonder if that up smash is stronger than uh, Lucas's. It's as slow. Anyone remember where guacamole started? Mexico? Is Navita still here? Or did he leave? Uh, okay, so Whipper went... No, Congus went through everybody, right? Yeah. No, Whipper went through everybody and stopped the Congus. So Guacamole was with Whipper and beat... Was with Congus and beat Saucy. Thanks, little bro force. Well, I don't know, Danny. I mean, I'm disconnecting from all the matches, but like my stream is fine. I've dropped like 1% of all my frames. Which is bizarre because my arena dropped, but I've seen all the matches. Oh, okay. Well, bye, Muff. Good effort. See you later, Muffin. Yep, good effort. Little bro force. I create capitalist pig. I take out Alex. Why does the capitalist pig sound Russian? He's nothing, do not worry. Get out of here. What do you put in pig for uh, pig step again? Yeah, so when you put in pig step again. Appropriately. Thank you. Oh no, I'm not leaving you alone. I do not have suplex on pig. This is the recovery build. With uh, both faint jump and uh, burning drop kick. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're going down, I Alex. Can't, I can't wait until we get a couple weeks in and we find out that Steve's not actually as good as everybody thinks. It's just minecart. Be yeah. You can't shield it, can't you? You can't shield it. Oh. It's a command grab. Oh! What? Yeah. The software was closed because an error occurred. <laughs> well, that's a first! Uh, am I still online? I'm still green. You're still on. Huh. Well... Man, I was gonna I was gonna beat her too. I was gonna be the guy. You were gonna you don't wanna be the guy though. I gotta say Pig Step is the best song in Minecraft. And it's a relatively recent song. That's probably why I haven't heard it. They added it in the Nether update, which came out this year, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't played in, like, a year. Probably since we last streamed it. I haven't played Minecraft in over a year. House of Dong. It's just, it's something I do with all my friends, and if my friends don't want to play it, then I don't bother. Well, hopefully there's we a spot- okay, good. I made it back in. Oh, wait a minute. If it's a- mm, that's a good point. If it's a command grab, then reflecting it won't work. It won't. Then King King K Rule's counter won't work because if it's a grab, he'll grab he'll be grabbed anyway. This requires labbing. Uh Mario might still work because he doesn't actually get touched. What is this mean? What did I make? Well, there you go. I'm so glad that there's varied gameplay between Minecraft players. Someone not using 
Minecraft exclusively. Or Minecraft. Minecart. No, they did. That's why they died. So Guac started with Whipper, was the first one. Uh, no, Guac started with Congus. Ah. Well, Whipper, you better mm -hmm. take out this Alex. I know you can do it. I don't know if I want it, because then I have to fight Whipper. I play King K. Rule and can't counter. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's not good. See, that's what I was saying, because if he can't counter, then it probably has something to do with the fact that in order to reflect stuff, you have to be hit first, and a command grab goes through that. So if it's a projectile command grab, the grab probably takes priority. There's a lot to Steve that is going to change how people fight against him. His ability to create platforms is not as strong as I thought it was going to be, though. I wonder about... It, it rarely ever comes up. It does, yeah. Which is kind of disappointing, given that that was so much of of interest about the character. Like, he spent so long explaining that part. I don't think anyone's really gotten to do any, like, block edge guarding except for that one on Roy, which he could still have gotten back from if he'd reacted a little faster. Alright, Guac and Whipper. Whipped Guac. That doesn't sound good. No, it's just like, uh, it's like whipped cream. You put it on top of a, put it on top of a, a milkshake. Okay, so... Turns out that if you can, that um, so that thing I that happened earlier where I got hit with the TNT, or I thought I did, and the other person took no damage. Turns out you can just do that. Turns out Steve can stand on it and down smash it, and if he taps frames, if he mashes shield, he won't take damage. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool feature. So we're on Lilith. Maximum minecarts. Oh, and the slopes too. I think that I think this is going to be a good Steve stage. I thought maybe so the just... mining rate would hurt it, but if I if iron's the only important thing because minecart, just and anvil for that matter. I mean, not everybody knows every combo, Congus. But yeah, and also the minecarts just keep throwing the minecarts out. I can I can see a minecart nerf incoming. Oh yeah. Uh, I wonder what about the the Fox Falco reflectors? Those would probably turn it back. Uh, no, probably not, because you can still grab them. It's not an active if you're holding it, but it's not an active. It's not an active thing. It has a it has a hurt box on the outside though. But I guess it just depends on where the collisions lie. Is it always a hurt box? Or is it just when you first activate it? I guess maybe it's just when you first activate it. Minecart can be pocketed. Can they use it again? Hard counter. Villager over Steve. Can... can Steve... Uh, we, we... I labbed... Um, a villager can pocket the anvil. The thing is that Steve makes a new one with a new piece of iron every time he does one, though. So it would make logical sense for him to be able to pocket it forever and them not use it, but... I'd be happy right. if that were the Guacamole, case. Guacamole, that's your... You gotta go to the back of the line now. If someone beats the entire line, we have we do a cycle yeah, so that someone doesn't back. dominate for an hour. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Congus v. Sa v. Saucy. Oh, I forgot to run the ad. It's going to be like uh, like radio channels. You just tune to my stream when Nick's running an ad and tune to his when I'm running an ad.
So have you heard about the Mario Cafe? Um, I have. At Universal. Yeah. Well, mostly just talk about the the hat pancakes. Yeah. Oh, those are pancakes. I had well, no idea. People what call they them were. pancakes. I would call them crepes. But they look like hot dogs, but you filled the inside with like cream instead of a hot dog. That's basically you know what, what a crepe saying? is, though. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're right. I don't know. They look. They look all right. I mean, I I always like the novelty that Japan always does these silly pop up places. Although this isn't a pop up place; it's part of the amusement park. Yeah, something like Mario. That's not surprising. I'm surprised there hasn't been a Mario cafe attraction earlier. In general, yeah, I don't know. They did one for Pop Team Epic for Pete's sakes. I know there have been uh, pop up. Urusei Yatsura and Inuyasha ones. Oh, you know what? Hold on. That's right. The Pop Team Epic one was Pop Team Epic and Sanrio. Huh. At the same at the same time. So you could get Sanrio and Pop Team Epic themed food. There was the Kirby one, which comes back every so often. I assume there are a lot of marshmallow things at the Kirby one. Uh, no. It's just normal food. Kirby Peeps just, seem like they would be a just, bestseller. It's just shaped like you like you get rice shaped like wispy woods or something like that. Saucy, if we ever do like uh, just friendly arenas, I'll go underhanded. I'll pick random or something. It's it's dog eat dog here on stream though. It's a doggy dog world. Uh, Kawaii fan says they'd buy peeps. A lot of people would. Kirby. They're a bestseller, waiting to happen. A lot of people. I get it. <laughs> Roller That's coaster funny. tycoon guest for Smash. Add the peeps. No, they're already included in Steve. You just gotta use the minecart on somebody and have them fall. Now, if that were the case, then the minecart would explode. Nick has pulled out K. Rool versus Gruntilda. Looking a little different today. Who else got buffed this patch? A uh, lot to talk about Bowser Jr. People think he got helped a lot. Ness uh, they got made, some substantial buffs. Well, they, they buffed everybody with a multi-hit in general. Except Ganon's Nair. That didn't get touched. Well, it's not it's not a multi-hit jab. It's not a jab, but it is an inconsistent multi-hit. And uh, Brawler's Fair is one of the worst offenders. Because it's like the only one in the game that doesn't have set knockback. Oh, okay, that works. They're just kind of doing little bits of multi-hit moves, making them more consistent. It's just a grab bag, patch to patch, of which ones they touch. But, uh, Ness got a lot. Ice Climbers got some... a, a number of buffs. I hear Bowser Jr. getting talked about the most, though, of them. Wait, don't we have someone who plays with us who plays Bowser Jr.? Uh, Ray does. That's who I'm thinking of. And, oh, the Belmonts got buffed. Which, I mean, that's fine. They're not top-tier characters or anything, but we're going to be feeling that when Muffs, when uh, Goji starts playing again. It's okay. If Whipper gets K-Roll buffs and Goji gets Belmont buffs, then that means we're due. 
for Ganon and DK buffs. They're coming. DK's been buffed, though. So of the four characters you play, do you think he's the least reliable competitively? Who, K. Rule or DK? Uh, yeah, one of the which one of those? Uh, DK. Actually, I'd say K. Rule. Still? Yeah, uh, it's K. Rule's like he's a bag of tricks, but you can see right here it's not reliable. Yeah. I wanted to like him. He can be fun to play, but I... He feels clunky to me. I can't end up doing much with him. Kongus, you should know better than to try to egg Nick. It's so close, it could go either way. Oh! I was trying to do an up air, not a side air. Or not a fair. Ness got quality of life changes, not real buffs aside from the neutral B buff. Oh, that's right. They made PK shine. PK flash faster. How much faster? I don't know. I haven't seen a Ness in a very long time. We rarely see Nesses these days, because they're way cheesier characters online. Yeah. We used to have Oops was our local Ness, wasn't he? Oof, yeah. Oof, yeah. He's still uh, he's still in the server on Discord, but he barely ever does anything. I should probably take away his mod chip, because he doesn't do anything. He's going to come back and put a bunch of lewd images in general or something. He's, he's going to come back and be upset that he got his mod removed when he doesn't hasn't been in the server for, like, forever. Is this another K. Rule? Is Whipper, and Whipper's not playing K. Rule. I guess so. But another do, I just, do, we, do we just attract people who play rare characters? I guess. Well, no, we had a bunch of Mies at the start of the stream. That's true. We had a bunch of Mies, we had a bunch of Steves, and now we have a bunch of K rules. Specifically Brawlers. I mean, we knew we'd get Steve. Also, not really surprising about Brawler, given the costumes. Yeah. I guess. Although, we didn't really see too many people using the costumes. No. Nevita's from the server. And, actually, I think he's on Brawler Court as well, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Navita joined the server because I played a lot with him in Brawler Court. I see. You know, it's not hard to unlock characters, Danny. You just gotta go through some classic modes. Just do the easiest difficulty. Or even just play yeah. the game with, like, bots offline. I think every few matches you just get a random unlock yes i do know who you're talking to the game even lets you rematch if you mess up definitely noticeably faster you could do world of light I still think that's, if you're willing to go through it, that's the fastest way to unlock characters for the first half. Yeah. After that, they get to be kind of a pain to get to, and it's better to do Once you get to the World of Darkness, they, they turn really... There's really quite a wide margin in between people, and the spirits get harder and harder. Yeah. That's how I did it on, on this account, though. Uh, I did, I did Classic Mode for the first couple because I just wanted to unlock K. Rule fast. Which is just basically, just use Link once. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I did World of Light for everybody else. It's such a weird arbitrary order they unlock in for uh, classic mode. I mean, the, the order was always kind of weird, wasn't it? 
I mean, what what order makes more sense than the other? I don't know. Just like you play Mario to unlock Luigi, play Luigi to oh, unlock that's Peach, what you, something well, like that. I mean, yeah. I kind of liked Melee, where everyone had their own uh, special unlock condition. At the same time, you know, having the game on for 20 hours to get Mewtwo is not great. Well, imagine... I mean, imagine they did that with, uh... all the, uh... all 80 characters in this game, though. I would find that lots of fun, but I think most people wouldn't. I mean, one of them would... I mean, flipping. I, I will say one thing is that the board for the achievements or whatever is way easier in this game than it has been. Like, Smash 4s were insane. Complete classic mode on intense difficulty without dying. Oh my god, I just realized who I'm playing. Three, two, <laughs> <go>! <laughs> it's D-Rule! Okay, what do I have on this guy? I have Helicopter Kick, that's what he's got. I remember when that costume came out, how sad everybody was. Yeah. Ow. If only we knew that three years later, we'd get everybody. Everyone is here. Elf King. Oh, hello, Elf King. He's from Ganon Court. And is a can... slightly better Ganon than me. I see. Come on, roll in. Pretty please? I just well, realized, let me get I just re to dance the music. Realized I was playing Congus. I'm so used to fighting your banjo. I gotta fix Piku. Piku Fire? No, Piku from Piku Niku. Hold on. I had the gift. Boku no Piku? Yeah, <laughs> funny. Oh, I remember now. It was from a bigger gift, wasn't it? Goblin Monarch. Rest in peace, Venture Brothers. Yep. Win box. Well, I don't have the Piku GIF on me right now, so I'll just put this on instead. If I could get him down to the last two stocks, I'd be happy with that. The last single stock. Oh, yeah, I get buried. Still alive. I got another one, actually. Hold get him! On. Oh, wow, that didn't kill him? That's death. Which one should we keep, chat? Which what? Which which one which petting Kong do we keep? Oh, 
I guess that's it for K rule hour. Unless Omni is in fact also using a K rule. Come on, Omni, don't disappoint. All right, I played all the right. things. Time to I get a break. All right, okay. we're keeping the one on the right then. Ready? K rule hour is over. Back to minecart hour. I'm going to say it, Sonic and the Black Knight was not one of his best. Three, two, one, like, not one of his go. best games? Yes. Is that not the popular opinion? Yeah, that's the that's the joke. Guys, I know this is going to be hard for you to hear. I don't but think I, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is the best Indiana Jones movie. I, I really, you know, I think Back to the Future 2 was a little subpar. Watching him stall out, flail his legs. <laughs> help! Help me, please! I never. Sega actually... could have just. Sega could have just made a game about King Arthur. They didn't have to make it Sonic. But they needed a Sonic game for the Nintendo. They had to have their own line of Sonic games. Which, well, which ended after two games. The storybook series, that's right, all, all two of them. Were those the only two Nintendo exclusive Sonic games? No, there was Sonic Colors. Yeah, that's right. Sonic Colors was the good one. I mean, no, it's not nearly as bad as, um, as the, uh... What's it called? Sonic and the Golden Rings? Secret Rings? Secret Rings, thank you. There was yeah, Unleashed. Well, yeah, but the Wii version of Unleashed was also on the PS2. Were there really substantial differences between that and the PS3 versions? Yes. The Xbox and the PS... The Xbox 360 and the PS3 versions... He did it again. Uh, ...contained the boost formula, which is what you'd expect. Like, he, uh... He beats enemies to get boost and stuff like that. Yeah. The the Wii and PS2 version start him with a full boost meter of like three, so he gets three short boosts, and you can refill the meter by doing stuff. Uh, there's no overworld; it's just a menu. You don't have to collect sun and moon medals to progress. Uh, Empire City is completely missing, and Matsuri is missing everything except for the boss. Uh. That sounds like the kind of differences that would be in a mobile port. Yeah. Remember when every game had to be have like a, like a Game Boy version, quote unquote. Yeah, because the GBA sold incredibly well. Play like Tony Hawk on the Game Boy Color, just completely I mean, different some game. Of them, some of them were surprisingly competent. Perfect Dark on the GBC is actually pretty good. But they were always completely different games. Oh, of course. I mean, you had to. There were. You had to. You know. And minecarts. Where's DK's minecart? He, he's known for those. He loves them. Speaking of minecarts, hey, ukulele for Smash. Um, they took off, maybe. right? Eh, I mean, the second game did do pretty well, but the minecart sections are usually some of the worst part of the first game. Yeah, I, I've heard that. There was a. That was um. Uh, a stretch goal, so they had to do it, and I think that's why it was so bad, because they didn't design them from the beginning. The minecart levels were actually some of my favorites in Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, and apparently that's an unpopular opinion. Well, they are really good. I mean, D DKC3 has minecart, kinda. They're toboggans, oh, but be yeah, they, I remember they, they those. function the same way. Except you could, like, jump up and hang on a rail, wasn't, wasn't that a thing? That was in the one level. See, DKC3 has like a different gimmick every single level, so even levels that use similar themes have drastically different ways of approaching it. Yeah, I did play through 3. I wasn't crazy about it, but we did do it. I like I, I like it. Um, DKC3 has this atmosphere that I can't describe. It's very calming, and it's relaxed, and it's laid back, and it's nice. 
Yeah. You know, it feels it feels nice to just. I like to sometimes just sit on the world map and just take it in. I don't think I ever would have gotten through it as a kid, though, with all the two stuff you have to to hundred percent it. Hundred percenting it, absolutely. But There's a lot of like, stuff you gotta find on the world map. I mean, hey, at least you know uh, they keep up the trend. Like the first game was one hundred and one percent, the second game was one hundred and two percent, and the third game was one hundred and three percent. What was sixty four? A hundred and one percent. I think, or was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was hundred and one percent. See, the zombie just saved himself by hitting, taking a ceiling block. Yeah, so you actually can't get 100% in DK64. You can only get 101%. Huh. Because when you get that last, when, to... when you yeah, when you get that six golden banana for Tiny from DK Isles, you jump from 99 to 100%. That's he's just teching everything by standing next to blocks. Teching. Oh, that's something I heard recently. Apparently, uh. Street Fighter is canon to the Tekken universe because Aka, like Tekken 7 involved Akuma like canonically hmm. that was just a bizarre thing I heard Jet Set Radio more like bad game <laughs> that's it's... right I'm not afraid to say it I didn't like it either Nick <laughs> I, I don't I haven't actually played it I, I tried the first one, Jet Set Grind. I haven't played Radio. I don't Jet know how Grind much that radio is. Jet Grind Radio is Jet Set Radio. That's just what they called it in the U.S. Well, there were two games. There was Jet Grind the Radio. One, Jet Set Radio Future. No, there were two games, and then Future, which is, was a remake of the two games. Wait, really? Jet Grind Radio. Okay, originally released in North America as Jet Grind Radio. A sequel, Jet Set Radio Fu- okay. Hmm. Well, I guess you were right. Hmm. <laughs> I'll badmouth every cult classic. I'll, t I'll diss Klonoa again. I don't do think I won't. I just- I, I couldn't get used to the way it controlled. When I played it. I'm a spoiled Tony Hawk boy. Well, it's not a skateboard, it's roller skates. So, no. you know, drastically different. It'd be nice to be fluid like a skateboard was. Ready? Now, who did Kongus fight first? That's a good question. I don't remember. It's just I'm sure Kongus will be kind enough to tell us. It's always Guacamole, Kongus, and Whipper. Three, two, one, go! I think Navita goes by the, the, the Discord name Churro. So we're just being invaded by Mexican foods. I don't know what Steve's game plan really is. Yeah, the arena is still full. There's a lot of people here today because it's two it's two rooms at once. Oh, I'm not watching anymore. Bye. <laughs> I mean, I almost took her out with, you know, Soup Pig. Maybe. It was going well. Then Nintendo said no. Oh! Wait, what was that? Did he tech off the stage? Like, bounced away from it.
You still there, Nick? Yeah. Oh, okay. What? I. He shot the Minecraft back. At what point do we just stream Zellrug's stream? Uh, never. Don't leave. If you leave, I'll call you mean names. Would you stream Zellrug's stream? What? I'm not putting a copy of Zellrug's stream in the upper corner. Oh, did you you disconnect it again? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're welcome to come on over. I'll, I'll call you a couple of things. Uh, one, you're a simp. You're a simp for, for Gladian. I think Mario's fare is a little more generous. It is. Mario's fair, Cable's bear. That's right, you're missing all the minecarts, Nick. There's the meat. Okay, that's not that's not as suggestive as, as I was thinking it would be. I thought they'd be like moving the meat in and out or something. All right, saucy. Ready? Three, two, one, go! It doesn't take resources to make uh, make a crafting table, does it? No. Uh, maybe? I think it's just like one wood or something like that. But you're gonna have wood, no problem. Oh, you bet I'm gonna have wood. Alright. I can't believe this song is using like stock scream effects. What song is playing? Uh, it's Grace and Glory from Jet Set Radio. It seems like trying to turn around after you've started to attack is kind of annoying with Steve. A lot of people don't really go for the... for the F-tilts. Or the... yeah. I had trouble using the fair because I just kept getting the sword in the air. Crafting cable table does not cost anything. Oh. Oh, never mind then. You'd think it would, especially if it does have utility like walking Luigi's. I mean, they probably didn't do that intentionally. They probably were like, yeah, you can destroy it. I hope this Alex wins because I've yet to fight a good one. Uh, who are you in the arena, Goblin? Is that you, Elf King? Yeah, probably him. Not Big the Elf, Elf King, deal. but the Goblin Monarch. Different person. Oh! Nope. And his icon is a fairy, or a man who thinks he's a fairy. Anyway, here's Minecart Madness. From ukulele? No, from Donkey Kong Country. Twitch name was taken. Should have gone with the Earl Knig. Be classic. Be sophisticated. Should have just called yourself... I don't know. Ninja. All the hip kids get the Franz Schubert references. I can't 
tell what this character's doing half the time because the animations are hard to read. I mean, yeah. You know what we really need is a character with no animations. Let's add Sandbag to the roster. I guess Game & Watch technically has no animations. He just goes from one post to the next. He's just frame challenged. Well, cause they're in their grab animation. Yeah. I can't believe you would say that about Steve Calamity. He's so chiseled. Definition everywhere. You know, mine, it, what Minecraft being in Smash means is that the next thing we need is ray tracing for Smash. That up smash is so mean on big bodies. I wonder how much attention the Steves that have been playing are paying to their uh, resource bar. Or Probably not very much. Just kind of throwing stuff out, because they always pretty much have stuff. Yeah. I think she's finally out of iron, so she can't throw out any more minecarts. Good, good. Which means she's just gonna stand back and mine. Even without even the sour spot on that fair is pretty powerful. I mean, especially with diamond. Oh, she got diamond now. Yeah, she does. I can't see, but yeah, I assume. Oh, What's you, the stocks at? You disconnected again. Yeah. Uh, Alex has two. Elf King the K rule has one, and is getting detilted forever off stage because he is K rule recovery. Hmm. Okay, made it back. They're both at 120. And is detilted again. Heart. Alex is once again out of iron. That's really the only thing you need to keep track of, and the up smash ends it. Two stock. Versus the guacamole. Minecart yeah. needs a good old nerf, methinks. Uh, you are not the first person to suggest to say that. Ready? At the same time, a lot of players don't seem to think he's like broken OP or anything. Which suggests that maybe he's a character who doesn't have a lot going on except for one really, really good move that he's going to rely on. Which would not be great. Zero to death.
I just think Steve shouldn't be able to jump out of his minecart so quickly. I guess. I always thought it, I thought it felt awkward how slow it took uh, Wario to jump off his bike in the earlier games. Then again, I never really liked that Wario had a bike in the first place. Even stocks and the minecart. It's even a recovery tool. It just throws it yeah. back on their way back to the stage. Oh, he's loaded up on iron now. Nick's popping off, damn. Nick's, Nick's a good DK. I play his DK a lot. Nick plays all the rare characters, so Donkey, Diddy, Banjo, and K. Rule. Although his uh, donkey and banjo are probably the most threatening. Dang it. It ate, it ate, the lag ate my input. The lag ate all of my input there. Is Steve the only character with a command grab projectile? Yes. Yes. Unless everybody, unless you're talking about the flying beetle. Unless you want to count Fishing Rod as a projectile. Which you can. It sh at least it's shieldable, though. Yeah, that's true. Which people thought the minecart was going to be. Apparently it's not. It's not. I've tried. It doesn't It doesn't work. It doesn't... Uh... Hello? I'm here to take over. Oh. No. No, no dirt for you. I will smash your bricks. All of them. With one attack. I find most of the time just run underneath because they'll just use the, the minecart. Yeah, use up your iron. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, I can break the minecart. Yeah, the minecart can break. No. Oh. Nice. You got lucky. Wrong way. How come we can block Isabelle's fishing line, but not not his? Because his is a grab, hers is a special. Shut, don't bring your logic into this. <laughs> oh no, he knows how to tech. I don't like people who know how to tech. I know how to tech, but sometimes it still doesn't work. Is this what we're doing? He's doing the thing that he placed the blocks in such a way that that's the one that can cause people to just fall through the floor. Get out of here. Damn it. Still alive. All right. Well, you know what I'm going to do. Well, no, I can't do it because he's not going to approach. He's going to stand back and mine.
That is such a bad place to be. Oh, those blocks send him so high in the air. It's alright, I got this. No, I don't. Come here, come closer. Ah! No. No. Out of iron. Until he mines more, which he's going to. Get out of here. I'm gonna lair at your ass! Leave. Get out of town! There it is. Nice job. Hello, Yazzie. It's pronounced Laurel, not Yazzie. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if anybody even gets that. That was such a blip on the radar back in the day. No, I remember it. Ah. Yanni. Oh, it's Kawhi Fan. Alright, the old standby. Oh no! That was the wrong thing to do! You like Yaz? No! Whipper! You bastard! <laughs> and everything's back to as it should be. The people who know how to fight Ganondorf beat Ganondorf. I know how to fight Ganondorf, doesn't mean I still don't lose. That's it. You're dead. <laughs> I don't really get tech checked by a lot of people in, in our group. I try, but that just means I do another dash attack. Oh. I don't want to get three stocked by Whipper. Who do you want to get three stocked by? Uh. Saucy. <laughs> Don't bury, please. Well, he didn't bury. Okay, I'm fine. Not fine. Move the way I expect you to move. Use your magic. Launch a projectile and play tennis. But it would be a bad projectile, it'd be just like Gordo's. And Gordo's are good. Ah, oh, you there grabbed is. my foot! Uh, time for another ad. <laughs> Whipper has much experience versus my dwarf. We all do. Which is why I'm upset I didn't get a chance to fight it. I mean, we could change that if you want. By virtue of how DK plays, I'm ultimately more at risk than K. Rule is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I gotta get close, right? K. Rule doesn't. He's got a lot of intangibility, like his head, when he uses his up air. DK doesn't have that. 
Back in DK doesn't even get an intangible tie. We've left the bizarro realm of Steam and Steve and Smash. Well, we need grotesque Steve and Smash. He can be like a no, meat no. costume or something. No, that's okay. DK does have head intangibility on his up air. That doesn't. Oh, his up air. I thought you were going to say his up special. I'm like, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Is it the same as Bowser's up air? There's like a headbutt. Uh, kind of, but DK's movement is different. But yeah, they're both headbutts. I mean, there's only so many things you can do yeah. with characters who aren't, you know. I'm gonna meme with this next song. So have you heard, uh... Have you heard, like, uh, Smash song fan creations for Minecraft? Not yet, but I'm I'm glad they don't exist. Those were never really good. Let's be real here. The Minecraft song parodies were never great. No, not song parodies. Like, uh, like fan versions of Minecraft songs in the style of Smash. Oh. Uh, I've seen a couple. I think somebody did Sweden. I was but... kind of hoping there'd be at least one from the base game. I can hear like a, a drum and bass version of Switch. It's a something. shame that Pig Step released only like two months ago because that would have been a shoe in. Yeah. Come on, come on. So we're down to how many are left? We're down to four slots. Yes. Crash is um, still my most likely pick, I think. Most likely, I have no idea. Who do I... I still want Dixie and Crash. Um, and then the last two, I really don't care. But I'm not going to lose any sleep if I don't get Dixie. I'm not expecting Dixie at all. They gave me K. Rule. I really don't think they're going to double dip into the DK franchise, especially since they don't have a new game coming out anytime soon. Who do you think is the most likely first party? Most likely first party? Probably another Pokemon. That's what a lot of people seem to think. They're expecting a Gen 8 Pokemon. I don't know which one, but yeah. I mean, Rillaboom would be kind of cool. No bias at all from you. I don't use Rillaboom. Eh. I use Cinderace. I always pick the fire starters. Pokemon is technically second party. Well, it's a weird mishmash. The Pokemon brand is managed by three companies. Nintendo, Game Freak, and the Pokemon Company. Game Freak makes all the Pokemon games. The Pokemon Company manages everything to do with the brand. And then Nintendo just kinda is a triple part in this three-way ownership. Which I thought the Pokemon Company was originally just a name for the collaboration of Game Freak and Nintendo. And then it, it no, it's a the company way. they invented to just manage the brand. Inteleon. Has the... What, what's the Gen 8 anime doing? I don't know. Because wasn't... Uh, how, how big a part in the Sun Moon anime did Incineroar play? Uh... That one I don't know about either, but they picked Incineroar, like, before they even knew what Incineroar was, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, they didn't. That's right. He, they didn't. That, I'm thinking of, um, they picked Greninja before they even knew what Greninja was, because he liked his design. Oh. <laughs> is, this, is this the game plan? Is this what we're doing? We found another K rule variant. It sucks because Kirby gets a multiplier on his copied abilities too. Technically his warlock punch is stronger. Really? I didn't know that. Well it's also like half the size. Okay, Ash eventually got Incineroar. I don't think the anime really impacts too much of what the Pokemon series does in Smash anymore. 
Yeah. It used to, which is why we got Jigglypuff and Lucario, but I really don't think they does anymore. Like, Greninja was chosen before the game even came out, and Incineroar was just, he picked it because he hadn't had a wrestling character yet. He did end up, Greninja did end up being a, a very big part of the anime, though, which is why I was kind of... Yeah. Tasty iron. Says Steve. Yeah, what now? <laughs> <laughs> if DDD actually managed to kill Kirby in the anime, there would probably be an episode where he's like, well, What do I do now? <laughs> I am a superstar warrior. I never actually watched Right Back at you. I take it he had a southern English dub accent? He did. He, did. he sounded like, uh, uh. He sounded like an oil tycoon. I know Meta Knight was voiced by Eric Stewart, Rock, and he had, had like a, a like a Spanish he, suave accent, right? Yeah, he was in. He was basically like an Antonio Banderas thing. Seto Kaiba does Antonio Banderas. And whenever he was, I mean, whenever he was on screen, so they redid all the music for the American dub for Kid. Oh yeah, that's always and a good Kurt, idea. And Meta Knight got like. Meta Knight got uh, uh, Spanish guitars whenever he showed up. I, I'm reminded of Tuxedo Mask. What was that? You bonked him with the gun. Wow, you're seeing it before I am seeing it. Oh, there it is. Did any of the people who did voices in the Donkey Kong cartoon go on to do anything else? I have no idea. I just know that uh, DK's voice actor never went on to do anything. Neither his singing voice nor his normal voice. I know. Let the... me let me take a look. I'm I'm looking that up as well. Uh, the Sailor Moon original dub cast basically just never did anything again after that. Their careers just ended. Ready? Uh. Well, Ben Campbell, who voiced K. Rule, went on to voice Papa Bear in the Berenstain Bears, so that's something. In the pilot. Yeah, he, voiced a, he voiced a couple characters in Naughty, uh, in, uh, Redwall. He voiced a, a character called Arctos in Ice Princess Lily, some movie that nobody cares about that was released in 2019 to get on the Frozen 2 bandwagon. In the pilot, K. Rule was voiced by the guy who played Ganon. In the Zelda cartoons. Really? Voice they don't know who voiced Green Croc. Oh, this was a French uh, show. Yes, French Canadian. I did not know that. Richard Newman. Aaron Tager, who voiced Cranky Kong, died last year. It looks like they never, none of these guys ever really went on to do anything big, which is understandable. Uh, Richard uh, Newman did some bit characters, and he was at least Diddy Kong. Diddy's voice actor went on to do Care Bears. Oh. Uh, Richard Newman was the did bit roles, and he he had other anime roles. He was an Ocean Dragon Ball Z. Hmm. Inuyasha. Oh, oh, hold up. Um, uh, DK singing voice went on to voice. Uh, to do radically singing voice from OKKO. OK oh, neat. That's the only thing he's here from. Oh, wait. He also apparently provided additional voices for South Park, the fractured foothole. Elf King going deep, and he made it back. Well, he's doing the same thing you do. I don't go to the bottom blast zone like that. That was ballsy. No, but I mean, he's fishing for the grapple there. 
I need to do that more facing away from the stage. It's a good uh, defensive thing, especially against K. Rule. Elf King knows how to do it reliably. Who's Yudin? What game is he from? Yudin? Yeah, E U D E N. I don't know, where do you see that? Uh, Danny's saying they would live, love him in Smash. Dragalia the MC lost. of Dragalia lost. Oh, well, he might be in because that's a Nintendo game. If Sora got in, I would I would fully expect his campaign, his classic mode, to be full of those little black Kirbys. I wouldn't be that surprised by Sora at this point either, since he dominates the popularity polls, and it's still not known who exactly owns the rights to the character. Whether Disney has a say in it or not. No, there's a little, little, little heartless skin. I guess I guess it is supposed to be like the, the Meta Knight skin for Kirby. Then Meta Knight also has a pink. No, I think his pink skin was replaced with Galactonite in this version. Crash would be in Steve's spot. Like, why, why this one specifically? Well, why not both? Crash seems very likely to me because of his historical significance and also the fact that he's relevant again. He's got games coming out. Rex? Yeah. I mean, they... They, um... They chose him... They chose the DLC for Fighter Pass 2 at the beginning of this year. And Crash 4 had at least been announced by then, hadn't it? No, I'm sorry. They they chose they chose the characters for DLC for this pack of DLC by Terry. So November last year. Crash 4, I don't know if that would have been in development, but the Insane trilogy definitely was out by then, right? Cuz it had been over a year. And or Nitro two years Field. now. And Nitro Field was out. So I think it's possible that Activision might have been wa wanting to do something. I don't know about Rex. They're not really doing anything with uh, with uh, Xenoblade right now, are they? Oh, no. The port, came to, the port of one came to Switch, right? Yes. I don't know what else it would go to. Was 2 a Switch game? Yes. X was on Wii U, 1 was a Wii game slash 3DS, and now Switch, and 2 was only on Switch. Still holding two, is the, 2 is the waifu collector. Oh. Speaking of waifus, hey, how many people are going to be going for uh, Alex in Smash now? Um, I don't know. I mean, what makes Alex waifu material? That That is the joke. <laughs> Move over, Palutena. Uh, Doom Guy still seems possible. We don't, still don't Maybe. really have an. I don't know. I never, I never really, I never really had much of a, never much belief for Doom Guy in general. 
Doom and Nintendo never really had much connections to each other. That doesn't really matter for Smash, though. I guess, but I, I have yet to see something where there's zero connection yet, right? Like, the connection with, um... Doom was on The X64. connection with Terry and Joker was because Sakurai personally had played those games before. The connection with Dragon Quest was because of Square, which was already working with Nintendo. The connection with um, Banjo was obvious. The connection with Min Min is not even a connection, it's literally it, right? So I don't know, I've yet to see anything with zero connectivity before. In terms of like all the new Smash characters over the course of the series though? I guess Snake had zero connection before. And, uh, yeah, I guess Snake, but I can't really think of much else. I, I just don't, I think it's just a made-up rule. It was never really something that was required. Other well, I'm than not the saying it's a, I'm not saying it's a rule. I'm just saying that it's, uh, it's something that I've noticed, right? I think it's a Because I, uh, I don't, you know, I don't think it's necessarily a coincidence that, um, They've all had some sort of connection to either the developers or Nintendo. Because Nintendo did pick all the DLC. Mm -hmm. Snake had games on the NES, but having games on the platform I don't really think is a, is a, like enough. Oh no, the juggling. Minecraft had cross-play, and Microsoft and Nintendo had to be working together since forever because of the Rare. Whenever they re-released the DKC games, they had to ask uh, Microsoft to use the Rare logos. We still don't have an FPS rep. Granted, I don't think that's something that they necessarily care uh, about. Banjo. That, that, that doesn't count. Mario. If we're counting that, then we're talking about, like, Samus. But, but I'm talking about games that were, like, oh, you know, originally, yeah, <laughs> originally <laughs> FPS games. Like, the first game in the series. Known Yoshi for being Safari. FPS games. <laughs> Yoshi's Safari was an FPS but the first Mario game, the first Yoshi game, the first Metroid <laughs> game was not an FPS. I'm talking yes, like yes, Master Chief or Doom yes. Guy or Blowjob yes, Blastowitz. <laughs> Marcus. Well, technically, that's a third-person shooter. Uh, oh, he beat Ganon. Good. How does my... Did, how did I... I did I three-stock them? Three. Or no, I just edged out the, the Alex. There he is, there's Square Curb. So I wonder how did I wonder if it's been confirmed how the levels changed. Um we don't know what materials are on what stage. Or like if but any like, of the blast zones changed, for example. No, no, blast zones are not changed. The only thing that's been changed is that uh, how blocks work. So they have something internal that tells them where blocks should be placed. Because it's like a grid thing. So there are no like platforms moved or no. dimensions changed? No, no. So that, that TNT no damage thing looks like a glitch that could be patched out. I think it will be patched out. I think Minecart might get some changes to how it works. Um, but who, Honestly, who knows? It might be too reactionary. It's just Minecart's very oppressive, and I don't like it. If it could be shielded, it'd be fine. I, I would like for the busted stuff to be toned down and his other the other stuff to be brought up a bit, because the other stuff is the fun stuff about the character. I haven't yet seen what Kirby's Steve ability does. I assume he mines and places blocks, right? Rip. Down with the anvil. Wow, I hate it. What what's wrong with Square Curb? I like Square Curb. 
He, he looks yeah, so. Yeah, everybody likes everybody likes Square Kirby. He looks so sad when he's mining. Like, can it um can it break and then he loses it forever? Is it like one of those abilities? Can what break? Uh, the the pickaxe Kirby gets. Oh, I don't know. He can't make mining. He can't make uh crafting stations, can he? No. But I, 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 but other, there are other moves he gets that break, or at least there's one other move he gets that breaks when time runs out. Hmm. Trying to think which one is it that runs out. No, I'm faster. Frame oh, six. Inkling. Inkling run makes Kirby run out of uh, makes Kirby lose his copy ability if he runs out. Cause he can't get more ink. Kept firing. Come on, minecart. You know you want to. Oh, there's a... I forgot there's a starting hitbox on that. Get out of here. Don't drop anvils. One grab, that's all I need! <laughs> Pichu's yeah, version... P Pikachu's version of Pichu's Thunder Jolt is, like, almost the same as Pikachu's, except it hurts him. That stupid TNT still alive! Here we go! Oh, there it is. Swing your arms! Stop that. Stop mining me. I'm not for mine. We're swinging our pickaxe side to side. I hate it. I hate it! Yeah, that's a glitch. That shouldn't be happening. But you, cause you can just, you can just do a down smash and hold shield and take no damage. I'm 100% certain they did not intend people to stand on top of the TNT and survive. Okay, Kirby also loses Robin's copy ability when hit runs out. I started out so well. He uses unbreakable iron tools, and he can only mine materials used for building. Okay. Yeah, okay, so Kirby's tools don't break. He's got, uh, what's that enchantment? The one that, re that, that uh, repairs them. A hat. <laughs> a hat? A hack. You hacked the game. Oh. Un. No. Ready? So, what DLC do you have, Saucy? Because I know you have Min Min, obviously. I think it's. I think it's just Min Min. He's the only one who's worth it. Sans costume and Min Min. Top characters. You what? You should have gold points that you can use to get other costumes, Danny. Oh yeah, that's true. Top characters I would love, but aren't getting in. The uh, Eggman or uh... what else was I thinking of? It's just Eggman, um, Eggman, and he's just a, he's just a captain, he's just a Ganondorf clone. Yeah, sure. Hey, 
Eggman or a Pig Ganon would be cool. He's a big body with a trident and magic. Oh, by the way, everybody in chat, I don't know if you're using my Nintendo, but they actually added physical rewards. Oh yeah, I heard about that. But you're back for after years. I think only in America, though. I don't think that was available in Europe, that program. Is... is... is the, the Sonic Rush Pirate Eggman, but like... Ganondorf, because I'm literally talking about just putting Eggman over Ganondorf. My Nintendo is the Nintendo Rewards program. Club Nintendo was so much better. Oh my gosh, it was so much better than what we have now. Yeah. But this one's okay, I guess. That's what you want people to think about your program, right? It's okay, I right. guess. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing, but like, I feel insulted. Because for the, like, the first three years... Uh, for the first three years, there was like no reason to use it. You should get. You should. Um. You should get that. You can get. You can use your gold points to get uh, game discounts. Although right now the the physical rewards. I bought the Mario poster set. Can we have a Mario uh, pancake sent to us by mail? No. And now 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 when you order them, you have to pay shipping. You didn't have to pay shipping before. Oh. It's five dollars. This is abusing the hell out of those. And it's like 800 platinum points for three po posters. Yeah, you can't afford that, but you just blew like 90 dollars on a Conquer plushie that talks. And you bought the vinyl soundtrack. <laughs> you, you purchase Shaman? A little bit, because she constantly complains about how much she doesn't have money. Eggman would also be very similar to Bowser Jr. as a problem. Which, I think Min Min being in the game killed Rayman's chances. <laughs> um, Rocket Fists are no longer new and fresh. People say that... Uh... People say that um, the invisible arms on the pig and the creeper mean that Rayman has a has a, a chance. Well, as a costume, yeah. But I'm like, I don't know about that. How does that prove anything? They just turned the arms invisible. That doesn't mean anything. I guess it just means they were willing to do it, because otherwise they might worry. Oh, this this is nonsense. It doesn't match the hurt box. But who really cares about arm hurt boxes? What if you could grab each individual part of Rayman's body and just toss it away? That's, uh, that's a One Piece character. Ready? I never use me, so the costumes are pointless to me. I like Mies. I like two of the Mies. I'm not crazy about Sword Fighter. Three, two, one. I'm glad Travis got something. A lot of people weren't happy that oh it was a costume. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> you had jumps. You had jumps. This this guac is not going to show any mercy. No. Worst guac I've ever tasted. It's like it's like a taunt too that you can mine while walking backwards. Imagine if in Minecraft, when you mine a block, you could just get infinite materials from it. Yeah. Imagine in Minecraft, you could put blocks on air. <laughs> this is the Steve you that Minecraft with, like... Steve wishes he was. Those are like mods that do that, yeah. Black square Kirby. Now, I want to know, so Steve can't mine a block he's standing on, right? I don't believe so. Or if he could, then I assume that would break it like it does the blocks on the Minecraft stage. Yeah. 
What if you could just mine through every stage and just make holes? That'd be fun, but very imbalanced. <laughs> What's that, Ganon? You're trying to recover. Sorry, the edge doesn't exist. <laughs> Who did Guac start with? Like, it's not enough that this person is beating everyone. They're beating everyone as a character they haven't played for more than a day or two. To get going on I'm still doing um, OC Tober and then I gotta start somebody's commission. That's right, right. You've been you've been busy drawing every day. Yes. And I think I have two commissions right now. The other guy hasn't bought his yet, but he says he will today, so I'm hoping. I mean I made sixty dollars from the first one, so that's nice. And I haven't even drawn it yet. <laughs> They're not even they don't even use blocks to stand on, Steve. They just place one on on the ground as like cover. He's playing like a Call of Duty player. Mm-hmm. Steve the cover shooter character. That's how you know he's Microsoft. I guess Halo's not really about cover shooting. Any of the PS2 characters, the Ratchet, Jack, or Sly, I would be hyped for, but... Sony's not gonna play ball. Yeah. They're also not really as big as a lot of other characters. Like, they had their time, but... There are, there are better choices these days. I wonder if they're planning to do anything with uh, Spyro. Not not necessarily in the context of Smash, but... Yeah, I don't know. Spyro has had problems in general. I mean, the third Spyro game and every game after that never even came out in Japan. Yeah. Well, it's Stratilators. definitely a big problem in Japan, but, uh... So, I, you know, Crash was popular everywhere, and Activision owns both, so if they were to pick one, I doubt they'd pick the other one. I think we're gonna... I think, if anything, we'll get Crash and not Spyro. And if we get Spyro, there's probably not a chance we're getting Crash. I'm not talking about for Smash, I just mean, like, what... Well, I know, I'm just saying Do you think they'll do general. anything with, Spy with Spyro license? Like, we're maybe. getting a new Smash game, a new Crash game. Yeah, but maybe... Oh, the stage spike, he texts it! And gets grabbed. He's still got the stock up. And he is very fat. He's not gonna go down easy. There he goes. He's gonna go up easy. I barely consider Skylander as part of the Spyro series. It's really not. It was a totally separate thing that was invented, and then they stuck Spyro on it for name value. And made him a part of it. It has... Skylanders has nothing... Here's the thing. After... After they draw... After Insomniac lost Spyro, I should say, they rebooted Spyro twice. They didn't know what to do with him. They knew what to do with Crash, more or less. Like, they had an idea of what a Crash game should be. Because it's easier to make a Crash game, right? It's an obstacle course down hallways with lots of boxes to break. Spyro, it's a lot harder. What makes Except, a Spyro game a Spyro game? Well, but, I couldn't really tell you. But the thing is, 
they didn't do obstacle courses full of boxes for three of the crash games they attempted. That's true, because they did an open world game for one of them, and then the other two were beat em ups. Completely different beat em ups. But there were the GBA games, which kept the the same line. I don't know. I feel like Crash has a lot more good games than Spyro does. It lasted a little longer. Both of them had trouble during the PS2 era, but Spyro was hurt harder. I've heard some people say that the, the serious games with Cinder or whatever her name is were yeah. not bad, but I don't know a lot of people that actually played them, so. Some people like the fantasy aspects of them. As, as Spyro isn't really a series that I ever wanted to be, like, super serious, like Aragon, though. I mean, the... <laughs> They, they they even got Elijah Wood to play Spyro. They did do that for one game. <laughs> Isn't that the dude in The Hobbit? Isn't he Frodo? Or, uh... Yeah, he's Frodo. Ooh. Bear beats. Fist? That was fully charged, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, but I missed because he jumped. You haven't been attempting the uh, the stage spike lately. Because people get I can't. You can't. Whipper always Whipper always knew how to tech it. Ah, that's what I kind of figured. He always knew. And it's just bad habits anyway. Kill the kill opening. I haven't heard that in a long time. I don't even remember what those were. Crash appeared in Skylanders briefly, and that was super he, weird because he, was he in spoke the last, in full English uh, and he had oh, an Australian was, accent. In the TV show, in the show, but he was also in the last Skylanders game, and it was just him. It was just normal Crash. Did Donkey Kong appear in Skylanders? Yes, along with Bowser. What a bizarre franchise that was. F Smash. Whipper did beat the Alex. armor on K. Rule side B is bonkers. Said chat just as that happened. Mm. Still alive. Oh, he didn't make it. 200%, you can do it. Did he just... No. Nope, okay. I went too hard. First. <laughs> Who said I couldn't bring it back? I now guess I, it, I guess if he just now. throws himself into the abyss, then yes. <laughs> All right, you get to fight. You get to fight good Ganon again. 
Or whoever he's playing. Oh. He's scared. <laughs> <laughs> I have I, I keep forgetting I have to go for it because he always decides to go for the disrespect Three, two, one, was he trying to go. footstool yes he always does Is it worth it to uh, nair Ganon off stage? Does that outrange his grab? Uh, maybe. The Doria did nothing. Elf King, go for the up tilt. Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Air dodged. 100 zip. Oh, oh, what? Why didn't that connect? Why didn't that connect? Why didn't that connect? I ha- what? You've got to be flipping kidding me. I hit him right in the middle of spinning Kong. Why didn't it work? Well, fix that. Ganon ditto. Oh, we got a slot open again. Not that it's going to make a difference. Probably have time to come around to Nick one more time. Maybe. Three, two, one, go! You're not gonna get me with that. You're gonna get your raw F smash out of here. Mulligan. We got a clip of me flipping living that Whipper match. What does that make the score, Whipper? Like 52? No!
It's not very common that I beat Whipper, but it's always a momentous occasion when I do. I'm like his Vegeta, except if Goku just didn't even notice Vegeta at all. I won! I beat Kakarot! I beat Kakarot! I did it! <laughs> and then he just gets beaten again. Pretty sure if Goku lost to Vegeta, he would have like a, a meltdown. Yeah. Nah, he'd just say, like, good match, partner. And he would not react as much as Vegeta wished he would. <laughs> How could you not be angry? One. Renegade for life. This is such a bad match for him, it's still taking him a long time to deal all that damage. Who, Ganon? Yeah. It's such a bad matchup for Ganon, Min Min. The worst part is you don't know what she's gonna do. Yes, it's the dog, I know. They told me when I moved into this room that I wouldn't be able to hear them as much, but no, I hear them just fine. Prepared for days. He's not even a real Ganon, he's some blue knockoff Ganon. He's like the fake Bowser from Mario Brothers 2. What? I'm sorry, what is this? Emotional Titanic flute? Who did this? Blue Manendorf. He's part of the Blue Man group. It's this one. I'm skipping it. We're gonna put in a good song, a great song. Hold on. For those of you watching my side, Nick is playing uh, song requests on his stream. Oh no, okay. I thought he got caught under the stage for a second there. So I wonder who Yazzie is. Is that, uh, is that Kawhi? Yeah. They said it earlier. Oh, I, I missed that. You like Yaz? Moral. Baba Booey. Peace. 
Sonic got some changes in this patch, too. That was kind of surprising. He did? Huh. I, I think buffs. They weren't nerfs. I don't know what would make them look at this online climate and think Sonic needs buffs. Um, I mean, is he good? Online, yes, very. But what about everywhere else? Well, let's wait until, like, people are playing offline to do that, then. Sonic also got the quality of life changes like Ness. Let me see if I can find the exact patch notes, just out of curiosity. Ready? Ness got buffs to dash attack, up tilt, down air, up throw, neutral special. No, oh, that's it. They're all attack speed or power increases. I don't know what you're talking about. Quality I mean, the of other, life. I mean, the multi hits. They're they've made multi hits connect. Is what they were doing. No, I know that, and that was the case with. Uh... I don't know what up throw was about though. Ness didn't get any of those, any multi hit things. Pikachu, Falcon uh, did. His dash attack is multi hit, as is his fair and his dare. Increased power of the third attack and an extended launch distance. So they didn't touch the uh, first two. Nothing to do with the multi hit. Oh, well then so, I don't know. It's just a straight up launch power, finishing power buff. Uh, Sonic, dash attack, increased power, reduced vulnerability. Up till reduced vulnerability. Up smash, increased attack speed. Increase amount of time invincibility lasts. And then up smash and up air got uh, multi hit connection buffs. So those are buff, those are buff buffs. <laughs> Guacamole can't get any iron. Just because of the stage? Yeah. Oh, it's, I bet it's wood. It's wood. Oh, you got one. There goes his one iron. <laughs> Bye, minecart. <laughs> <laughs> Could have used that to upgrade. Who else were we talking about? Ness, Sonic, Shulk got buffs, I believe. Banjo. Well, Shulk got buffs, he also got uh, shield art nerfed. Uh. Bowser Jr., attack speed, launch distance. A lot of launch distance buffs. Apparently, you can now uh, side B into up B as Bowser right. Jr. Uh, again. Elf King, that's everybody. Uh, he's about to leave anyway. Thanks for playing, Elf okay. King. See you later. They buffed Headbutt. For who? Donkey Kong. They made it. Uh, they made it, its attack range vertically bigger. For opponents, for opponents on, on the on ground. The, on, when the move is on the ground. So, was it missing people who were on the ground? I, I guess? I had I never who could be missing. That. Like, that has to just be the berry hitbox, then, if it only affects opponents on the ground. They decrease the amount of damage Nana takes. Yeah, Ice Climber's got a few things. Shorten adjusted Nana's AI behavior. Hopefully, she suicides less. That was like every every ice climber player was upset by that. Nana always would air dodge the stage, resulting in you dying, yeah. and she'd kill herself a lot. So, uh, the Belmonts got a lot of launched uh, knockback buffs. Charizard side special made it easier to hit multiple times. What does that mean? Sides? When does that hit multiple times? 
It hits once, Maybe. really big and powerful. I mean, so the I know that the attack is two parts. There's the projectile part, which is the first hit, and then the explosion, which is the second hit. You can reflect Charizard, and I believe you can reflect Charizard and ignore the second part, if I recall. I wonder what made it so the attack does not get neutralized. I wonder what that language means. Bowser Jr. got a lot of buffs. Landing behaviors, launch distance on side tilt, easier up smash. I was falling out of up smash a lot, so I can believe that. Apparently his down smash the... is frame 12 now. They didn't change his flurry attack. I don't know what it means. Made it so the attack does not get neutralized on Banjo's flurry attack and his flurry KO attack. Like, was it possible to shield between the second to last and final hits? I guess if you were very late, if you were very far away, yeah. But I thought it was talking about how people can just fall out of it sometimes. I guess. Specifically says flurry attack to KO, though. Her Charizard stalled out a Lucas. Apparently, PSI Magnet doesn't deactivate until an energy projectile is inactive. So he could just hold the, the flame breath, and the Lucas couldn't do anything about it. Huh. Yeah, those blocks are not as oppressive as people seem to be have been worried they would be. He just no, right but I'm more worried about the Minecraft, the minecart. Yeah, the Minecraft. So we got a rematch. Yeah. This is going to be the last match for me. All right, last match. Let's go. Ready? Someone's calling me right now. They can wait. Yeah, I wasn't trying to fare. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Hadn't played K Rule against Steve at all up until today. So far, I'm liking his odds. It's disappointing how little impact the blocks have. Like, you just knock, set one down to block one shot and then run away, for the most part. I mean, there's that one you can do against certain matchups that, there's that uh, setup you can do that causes people to fall through the floor. I've also seen the zero to death, like, climbing combos, if you use, if you use blocks to go up with them.
Oh, I think Donkey Kong's up B needs wind properties. <laughs> they need to combine the current version with wind boxes like in Smash 4. That would definitely make it stronger. I guess he can't suck someone who's buried? Yeah. Dang it. Spin to win. Oh, dodge the crap. Okay. <laughs> the the head hitbox of bear. Sorry, fair. Alright, I'm done. I'll see you guys later. On my channel, I'll be streaming Perfect Dark next week. And then I'll be doing Costume... Uh, what's the game? Costume Quest 2. So I'll see you guys later, and thank Zelbrod for coming to hang out. I'll see All everybody right. next time. Bye-bye. And I'm going to do one more. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's Nick's Arena. Okay, never mind. I guess that's our final match as well. I thought I was still hosting the arena, but I'm not. Well, that's it for me too, then. Thank you, everyone, for playing. It was fun. I don't know how much I'm going to play Steve. I'm going to have to practice him a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And mainly know how to do that stupid dynamite exploit so that it can be patched out and I can be mad like all the other people who abused it. That's it for me. Uh, we'll see if maybe we do something tomorrow with Jack. Maybe Sunday. Uh, he's working on getting a new microphone before he can stream again, because his broke. Uh, see you next time.